Hi guys and welcome to New Male Vlog. Well, you've already seen some impressions of our weekend here in New York City for the last two races of the Formula E season 2018-2019. And I would say, stay tuned, it's gonna be amazing. So we are now doing the track walk and this is basically the first thing that the drivers and the team are doing on the weekend. So they are just walking around and they just have a look if there are any special things about the track and uh, this is really exciting for us to see, I mean, what are they looking at and well, it's pretty cool for us to be here. This is not a new track for the team but I mean there are always some small changes. here with Gary Paffitt in the HWA Race Lab garage and Gary this is actually your first time in front of our camera yeah. I'm really excited so thank you so much for taking your time and well first question you're about to complete your first season in Formula E so when you look back what are your feelings towards the season I think um, I think we've had we've had some highlights and there's there's been some tough low points as well and I think the, the overwhelming feeling is that just it's it's just I'm so unpredictable in Formula E. You know, you, you can never um, guarantee that because you've been a, had a good performance one weekend, the next weekend is going to be the same. You know, things change so quickly. Every circuit, every venue we go to is so different that uh, you need to kind of relearn everything every weekend. So I think um, we've made really good, solid progress through the season, and and the consistency is getting better and better. But I feel like you know there's sometimes where we've missed opportunities that we should have scored more points. Uh, but still, I think everyone can be can be proud of what we've done. You know, as a team, we've scored, I think, the most points of any rookie team, which is which is great. And uh, you know, I really think we've made really really good progress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've just spotted a Fitbit on your arm. Yes. So do you know how many steps you usually take on a race weekend? Uh, I don't actually. No, I mean we right. did a, we did a track walk today. So yeah. so far I've done I've done six and a half thousand so far today. Well, that's great. It's pretty early still. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> So I imagine a lot more. So um, yeah, no, it's steps-wise, probably not too many. But actually, in the car, the, the amount of workout you do is, is quite a lot. And I use the Fitbit when I'm driving to measure my heart rate and things like that as well. So it um, it varies a lot on the circuits actually. I, I used to use it in DTM, and, and and it was pretty sick, pretty consistent. But in Formula E, based on the more the difficulty of the circuit, but also the temperature, it, it varies a lot. I mean, this weekend. You know, with the heat here this weekend, I think it's going to be pretty high. Mm -hmm. um, but in somewhere like Berlin, it was actually, yeah, pretty low during the race. It was just above 100 on average, so it was quite low actually. So uh, yeah. yeah, it's but it's a good way of measuring um, your condition in the car and then and then looking at how we should recover afterwards. So. Yeah, and you've just mentioned your heart rate. So yeah. when is it higher in qualifying or during the race? Uh, it kind of depends on the situation as well. I mean, normally the race, because the race is longer, you have the build-up of the temperature and, and, and the build-up of the exertion. I mean, during qualifying, you're only normally doing one or two laps really at high pace and high stress for a long time. I feel like in motorsport, you've got the physical exertion as well and from the heat, but also the mental exertion is, is a lot that, which raises the, the, the heart rate. You know, if you're in a battle, wheel-to-wheel -wheel battle with someone, you, your heart rate goes up a lot. I mean, a couple of times I measured it in DTM, um, the famous battle I had with Timo Glock at Hockenheim, it went oh, yeah. up to 190 actually at one point, which blows my mind to think that if I if I actually tried to exercise at 190 beats per minute, I'd be destroyed. And to yeah. do that and racing wheel to wheel with another guy is, is is tough. So it's normally the races, especially the hot races, where the the heart rate is is the highest. You know, in qualifying it peaks, but it doesn't actually stay at a sort of uh, consistent level that high. So right. Yeah. So what's your goal for the weekend? I think our goal, as all other races, is, is really to score good points. You know, we, to, we need to get the aim has to be to be consistently scoring points with this car now, um, and I think we have the, the car to do that. Obviously, being the last race, we want to finish on a high, so more points, podium finishes. I mean, the perfect way to end the season would be either with a win or, or certainly to get a podium in this last weekend in New York, and, and that's what we're all aiming for. Yeah. And one last question. So, um, do you have any plans for the next season? Is there anything confirmed yet? 
I, I think uh, yes and no. I mean, motorsport is a very unpredictable business. So, uh, it's, it's very hard to say until uh, probably we're on the grid for the first race what's happening. But uh, certainly the plan is to be uh, continuing with HWA, obviously with, with Mercedes into in, in Formula E season six and try and continue the, the path that we're on with this team to try and start next year in, in, in a kind of similar vein to we've ended this year. All right. So, Gary, thank you so much for your time today no and we keep our fingers crossed. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you. So we've just finished the track action for today and are now ready for some sightseeing here and in Manhattan. And afterwards, we'll go to baseball game. So yesterday we've seen some highlights of New York City and now we're ready for some racing action. And behind me you can already see FP2 is on its way. And well, this time it's really special because we don't have just one race on a weekend. No, it's actually a double header. So the final race of the Formula E season 2018-2019 will be held on tomorrow. So we're pretty excited for the day and let's just see what it takes. Unfortunately, qualifying hasn't been that good for our HWA race lab guys. Gary ended up on P15 and Stoffel just on P19 and he even kissed the walls. Well, we're now strolling through the e-village and afterwards we'll head over to the grandstands for the race. Okay, so I ran into a very special person. I just met Akim, and Akim is actually working at Mala in Buffalo, is that correct? That is correct, yes it is. So can you tell me something about your job? What are you basically doing at Mala? So at Mala, I'm with the eco-pressure team, and I'm working with the electrical engineer team. I'm a product engineer, and I'm working specifically on the portion of isolation resistance, which is an electrical parameter to essentially assess how isolated the battery is from the chassis for human and operator safety. All right, how long have you been working at Mala already? So coming up in September, I'll be working there for just about two years. Oh, so you're pretty new. I'm pretty new, yes, yes, Well, yes. that's cool. That's awesome. Um, can you describe, well, like your daily business? What does a day in your life mean or how does it look like? The reason why I also like my job so much is that there's no two days that are the same. Every day is different. It's funny, it's funny because even though each day is different, we, we typically have set days in which we call like Wacky Wednesday or Freaky Friday or something like that because no matter what happens, even though it's different, it's always crazy. So a typical day is expect nothing. Whatever comes, get it done. Make sure the product that's going out is, is, is appropriate. That sounds great. Yeah. So um, what are the main challenges in your job? I think the main challenges in my job is 
Uh, honestly, besides um, the technical aspect of things, the main challenge and the most fun part about it is that our group is so diverse. So, we, so we're working with uh, Amherst, obviously, with my group, Spain for the uh, for the electronics and the software, and Slovenia for the motor. So I think the, the biggest challenge, I guess, is, is, is getting time together for us all to be on the same page. But beyond that, every, everything else is pretty, pretty fun. Cool. And um, do you have any goals for the future? Oh, my goal for the future is for our e-compressor to be number one in the field. Yeah. Yes. I'll keep my fingers crossed for that. Yes. So, Akim, thank you so much for your time and for the very interesting insights. And I would say we have a pretty packed schedule today and the race is, well, I think it starts in, a, in an hour or something. So we have to go. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you and, having me, yes. <laughs> thank you. And now we'll go to the race. drivers finally ended up so I just know that Boemi uh, won the race and I would say let's close the day for today and we'll see us tomorrow good morning and welcome to the very last race of the Formula E season well after a very chaotic race yesterday we finally know where our drivers ended up in the end and Gary Paffett ended up on P15 and Stoffel van Dern on P19. Well, I think they are giving their very best for the last race today and I would say, well, we just enjoy the day. and qualifying has been very successful for our team. Stoffel van Dorn even made it to Super Bowl and he starts the race from P5. Gary Paffett starts from P9, so that means maximum attack for the race. from the podium ceremony and we have a new Formula E champion, it's Jean-Eric Bern and our drivers of the HWA race lab, they ended up on P8 and P10. So this has been an incredible weekend here in New York City and well, the Formula E season 2018 and 2019 is already over. It's been so cool to be part of it and I would say we call it a day. So hasta la vista guys, thanks for watching.